haven't been walking down the street, maybe to school, to work, the park, you know, whatever, and just seeing people with the most outrageous outfits, did you then wonder? <laughs> First of all, rude, but second of all, yeah, that's fair. Someone dressing different than you can be quite puzzling. I'm here to cure you of the disease and also blessing that is curiosity. First, let's talk trends. Whether you're older, young, female, male, or non-binary, you've probably given into a few trends in your life. Maybe you still follow them, but what makes them so intriguing? Well, that's because of a thing called gray matter. Gray matter areas are parts of the brain made up of mostly cells. Jennifer Baumgartner says that the gray matter areas in your brain react happily or fondly to new things. That statement was made in the brilliant article called The Psychology of Fashion. You should check it out. To summarize, we feel rewarded, keyword, when we see new things. To clarify, that means things that are specifically new to a person. For example, I love the over-the-top fashion of the 2000s, or Y2K, if you're up with the trends. It's not new to the world, obviously, but it's new to me. That's why it's my favorite trend, and I mean it. That's probably one of the reasons I felt like such a hashtag girl boss when I was wearing my purple plaid pants. In an article done by doctors Nico Boonsek and Ember Duzo, they stated that the areas related to feeling rewarded, or specifically reward circuitry, are called the vagra or the ventral tegmental area. It's activated when you see new things, like, I don't know, trends? We also feel like we're kind of a new person when we participate in trends, which is good for the soul as far as accomplishment goals, and kind of the ego if you think about it. Our brains as humans have always seen new things and instinctively tried to decide whether it's dangerous or otherwise. The same thing goes for new trends. Isn't that crazy? You see something and your brain decides whether or not you like it. So surprising. Never heard that before. Okay, okay. I know that you know that I know we all know that our brains decide whether or not we like things when we see them immediately. But why? More specifically, how? Well, now we're getting into personal styles. Your personal style depends on whether you're an extrovert or an introvert, your preferred hobbies, the way you were raised, your mental illnesses, and everything under the sun. The things we were exposed to as children are going to have a crucial effect because they're more available in your mind. That quote is from Kate Nightingale, thank you for the easy last thing, of style psychology. For example, if your mom was wearing a particular shape of jacket, you'll have a higher inclination towards it. You won't know why, but you'll be driven towards buying that piece as opposed to something of the exact same color and made of the same fabric, just different shape. Oh, thank you. It was just a little accent I picked up while listening to my mom watch Bridgerton at 12 o'clock at night. I know what you're thinking. What does that mean for me then? Well, to be honest, I can't make that assessment for you. Your personal fashion style is basically a reflection of you, your personality, and your state of mind, and your brain, but we all know that. In order to really understand the way you dress and why, you have to look back. What are the shapes and colors your loved ones flaunted in the past, and what's in style right now? That's how you really find out what's behind what you look like, and simultaneously, how you look out for the stuff you wanna look like. I played the direction manual for a lookbook. Full of knowledge and secrets, baby. <clears throat> there are certain things the brain looks for in everything. Everything fits into these different categories of likes and dislikes. There are different categories of likes and different categories of dislikes, but everything fits into one of them. The things that show up in the likes category often show up in your personal style and fashion choices. Stylist Jill Marinelli wrote an article on why women like certain trends in February Fashion Week. Number one, the peplum skirt. It represents the hip to waist ratio, which signifies fertility and health in the human brain. Notice how this trend in German stuff can make you feel better too? Science is awesome, am I right? One important thing to note though, is that the things you wear can affect your mind as well as vice versa. Bold colors were another trend. That's because warm colors make us feel warm inside, which is especially helpful if you're dealing with some internal struggles. For example, a fancy article on Vogue.com dives into enclothed cognition. Enclothed cognition is basically cultural ideas relating to certain styles. 
sure, in your culture, certain clothes make you feel a certain type of way. The same article states that research shows test takers dressed in the traditional garments or lab coats perform better while test taking or doing whatever they do. So, to conclude, it's not really about the clothes themselves. It's about your brain and the way it's been developing your whole life. Hope this helps you, brain bug.